Traders, um, I'm done for the day. I want to have a short recap of my trades today for those of you who missed them or if you have any questions. So uh, here we go. That's where I stand right now. I have a losing trade in Goldman Sachs, a very small one. Uh, this was carried from yesterday, this JD trade here, still carrying 100 shares from yesterday. Uh, M was a nice winner, MYGN was a nice winner, so was OSTK, but I had two losing trades in TLR1. I'm going to finish my day at uh, $1,400 uh, profit, so that's a small green day. Uh, let's talk about some of my trades today. Uh, I'll start with MYGN. If you take a look back at um, our trading room, you could see that uh, I posted MYGN. Uh, that was right over here under 27.60. And that turned out to be uh, a very nice move here. So 27.60 was right over here. And uh, it did come down nicely. I also added, the thing is, I was supposed to have a bigger winner in MYGN and I don't know, it maybe was the size because I edited it, edit, edit as it came down or I don't really know what, uh, I, I can't really, I still need to look, look back on that, see where exactly I shot it and what exactly happened there because I was thinking I should have a bigger winner. Anyway, uh, that was my MYGN trade. Um, we traded uh, Macy's today which was uh, a lovely trade. Uh, Macy's came down, it's down now 15%, so look at uh, the way it behaved, both of them, MYGN and Macy's, bo both of them, big gap down, MYGN is down 40% right now, and uh, Macy's is down 15% right now, so take a look at how Macy's started, right over here, came down, didn't give me a chance to go short, popped up, loved that move up, because that's where the buyers are usually failing, especially when the stock is down 15%, you look for the failure of the bar when, uh, buyers when you have a huge gap down like that and you look for the pace of uh, reversal which I posted under 1630 right over here and that was uh, the right entry point. So I really love this uh, entry point and it continued coming down, gave us plenty, plenty of space for partial here um, and um, added also under 16 which didn't work out so great because it just moved down not that much, almost 20 cents. Uh, probably should have taken my partial a little bit better there, but uh, it worked out nicely and I uh, can't complain. M, y, M was one of my winners. So uh, we also had uh, OSTK, which I believe I posted under 19. Yeah, posted that one under 19 and also a very beautiful trade. Same idea. The stock is down 13% right now. Big gap down, a failure to move higher, look for the pullback, short it at the pullback point initially came down, then gave me some trouble, not much, and then continued down just beautifully. So OSTK turned out to be my best trade today with $1,700 profit and still going with 100 shares. My biggest disappointment today was TLRY. Huge disappointment. Uh, stock also down quite a bit right now, almost 10% down, and it was more. So that that one came down dramatically, pulled back up, can't really remember the place where I shorted it first. But you know, the difference between TLRY and the other one that we've seen is mainly the fact that it came down quite a lot and then pulled back up. The other, look at uh, Macy's, small move down, moving up. OSTK initially moving up, which is great. MYGN came down, was holding through the lows and then continuing. TLRY was a bit different, it came down quite a lot, then moved up, then I was trying to short it twice, failed twice, second one was right over here under $40 and then stop over $40.30. So um, big disappointment in TLRY which took away a major part of my profits today and of course we had also Goldman Sachs which was a failing trade, let's take a look at Goldman Sachs here. Um, shorted it under 198, I mean that was a beautiful breakdown formation, look at that, over here, once it started moving under 198, that was a very, very beautiful cup and handle formation, in fact an inverse cup and handle formation, should have worked nicer, did not, started moving around, at that point over here it took me out, yes, if I would have stayed by now, maybe this could have been a winner, but that would have meant also taking a 70 cent risk, which I did not want to take. 
It took a 30 cent risk and that was it. A bit more than 30 cents is more Goldman Sachs and I was out. So the thing is, not a very successful trading day, but it is my third in a row green trade for this week. So I have nothing to complain. Having a beautiful Monday is over three grand. So was yesterday and uh, today $1,400. So I'm good. I'm good and green for the week 